think we found the source of the artesian springs right here right in the middle of uh, this uh, creek is coming down all right this here's where the artesian springs really really um, come up you can hear the water as it is as, as it's coming down you can hear it coming out of the earth this is what we call an artesian springs and these are these these waters are rich in potassium and, mag and, and magnesium and um, look look at it so clear crystal clear waters right here from the springs that are coming out from right behind those bushes right here all that uh, grass tall grass that those are the reefs that um, that grow around the water that's where the water's coming out you can hear it as we, if we if we can try to get closer we'll see if we can uh, see where the water is bubbling out out of the earth Several years ago, I have written an article. It's about 40, 50 years ago, I wrote an article about these artesian springs. And at that time, I remember saying that there are two main sources, like two artesian springs, one that has like sweet water and one that has a salty water. Right here is the junction of the two of them. This part coming down, and then this other one coming out this way. You can see the water running uh, fast and both ends here's where the the two meet and this is again this is part of the uh the arroyo salado the creek uh the salado creek right in alto bonito about a mile uh less than a mile east of alto bonito you every time you pass by there you will notice that it always has water why because it's fed by artesian springs salty water and sweet water artesian springs that's why it's always always uh, full but I, or uh, a lot of water here's the beginning where it comes down I wish we could show you uh, where it's bubbling out we can't because of the it's completely covered with woods but hopefully one day we'll be able to show the actual water flowing from uh, from the from the ground up as it's coming up a few years ago when I wrote that article we were able to see it because it wasn't all this area wasn't covered like it is now but hopefully that that we were able to do that yeah. again mr Shine, do you think it's safe to drink this kind of water well there's only one way to find out you got health insurance anyway uh, just spit it back out this is salty water no, uh, no, it's not very, very salty. The saline water, right? saline water, but it's not very, very saline. So, uh, I would imagine the animals would love to have something like this. And were there Indians here that? Were... Oh yeah, there used to be all kinds of. I mean, th th these were fertile grounds for, for everything, for cattle, for Indians, for people who travel by, who were passing by. I mean, just this is great because of the artesian springs, huh? And like I said. Salty water and fresh water, right? Or, or, or sweet water. And I'm pretty sure that that was contributing to people just coming over here. Besides, like I said, the potassium and magnesium in the water was easy, even good for the body to clean the body, to, to clear it up of all kinds of sores and things like that. The you were saying something here. about uh, the pressure in the atmosphere, no? Yes. What? Uh, a, a previous owner of this area told me that when there's a low pressure in the atmosphere, it increases pressure on the ground. And as a result, because of the pressure on the ground, it, more water comes out. You know? And when there's a high pressure, it kind of pushes the, the, the water down. There's still a little bit uh, oozing out, but not as much as when there's a low pressure on top. I mean, it's, it's understandable if you just think about it, the pressure, and, and it, uh, it, brings it, it brings it up. This has to be a beautiful area to visit, if we could. Huh? Uh, I know here the water kind of is uh, it's pulling out, pulling uh, as a pool. Not moving as fast here because of the, the fact that uh, it's so wide now. It's getting wider and wider. Okay, 
we have another spring. We, I, we just found another spring that feeds into the the creek behind this over here. We thought the other ones were the only ones. But look. And you can see it. You can see it there, mira. Well, <laughs> there's one way to find out, but I don't know if I can stand over. Okay, here we are. We we found some more springs that are feeding into the creek, and there's uh, maybe the the, uh, the aquifer that's feeding it is the same, but it's amazing. Look, look, we found this. There's another one right here. Look, trickling down. That if you go further down and keep going. There's about three or four of, of the artesian springs, again, feeding into the creek. That's why the creek always has water loop. You want to show this? Look, right here, this little canal. And there's another one and there's another Look at the water. Look at the water. Amazing. Clear water, right? You can see, you can see that this is water coming from the springs. Uh, if you turn that way, you can see the the water feeding coming in to the to this creek. This is uh, Salado Creek, you know? and it's heading on this way. As we move closer over here, I'm wondering if there are even more springs that we don't know about. But it's amazing that we're able to find. I haven't seen these over here. Oh, that's fantastic. The water contains thousands of fish, fishes, different kinds of fish, and, and so uh, thousands of them all over the place. You, can, you can't see it real quick from here, but as you get closer to the water, you will see them uh, uh, swimming all over the place. Those are the different kinds of fishes. That, okay, and then again, we're, as, as we're moving in this direction, we're moving south, we're getting closer and closer to US 83. You can see it uh, about, 200. about 200 feet from here, yards, yards, yeah. From here, you can see uh, US 83. And again, this is the uh, Salado Creek. Here's where all the water from the Artesian Springs ends up, right here. Now, it used to be that it, it would go through the, uh, the under the bridge of the highway but has been dammed or uh, stopped so that the water accumulates here this is what we have here 